Yeah, man, like me and Brother Yana talked about, you know, nearly faced a life, life and death situation this week while keeping a Passover, man. And this demon tried to, tried to hit brothers with a car, man, but we got out the way in time. Got out the way in time at nighttime, man. That's why you always got to pray. And I show you, that's another reason why you can't fall out the truth, man. Because them demons will get you. Get Psalms uh, 34 and 7. Fall out this truth, man. Satan gonna deal with you, man. Them seven demons gonna take hold of you, and that's it. And you're gonna be destroyed. You see, the elders talked about a guy who was in the truth, and he got gunned down last week. Oh yeah, con, con. He had twenty-eight thousand in his uh his car somewhere. I can't remember. I think the front of the car. And he got gunned down with an AK-47. He fell out the truth like two years ago. See, when you leave the truth, that hedge of protection is off. Now it's open field. That's why you can't fall out this truth. So like we said before, you got to do is get weak. Because you looking at what some other man doing. Brother, that ain't no excuse. You how was ain't trying to hear none of that when he come back. He well, trying to hear none of that, man. Well, it was better that he got that AK anyway, man. Yeah, it was better he got that. But it showed you. See, man, if you want to die, man, you got to die be being in the truth, man. All right, he probably went back to drug dealing, hustling, just taking and he, dudes and up and shit. Yep. Like the Lord said, when much is given, much is required. You were given a lot of talents, you got to endure to the latter end. The scripture you got? The book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. Like there's angels right now. Like we brought that scripture out with Elijah and Elisha against the Assyrian army. And Elisha was like, what are we going to do about it? And Elijah said, listen, they that are with us are more than they that are um, against us. And Elisha had no clue what he was talking about. And Elijah prayed to the Most High to open up Elisha's eyes. And then when he saw it, he said, behold, the chariots of Israel. He saw the UFOs. There's UFOs, there's angels, there's all kind of spirits around us, man. But when you forsake the Most High, those angels depart just like Job the most high took that edge of protection off of him so Satan could get to him man but before Satan couldn't get to him but that was all to try his faith because the Lord will do that too all right all to try you man okay and we all approaching that that great hour of temptation where every Israelite man woman and child is going to get tried most for the worse, but for the brothers that do get through it, it's for the better. Okay? And that's gonna purify you, man. That's good. Which scripture you got? Um Job chapter um two verse one. Again there was a day when the sons of the most high came to pre present themselves before the Lord. Who are the sons of God? That's talking about the angels in that scripture. Okay? If you know anything, the angels always give a report to the most high. What goes on in the planet Earth? That's their job. They're messengers. All right. Take it further. We're also gods and messengers, but we're now in the Lord's state. That's what the Bible said. I have said that you are gods, and all you are the children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. That's not talking about no spiritual demon Satan, man. We're talking about the fallen angels, man. The Israelite is are, are the fallen angels. We're going to get back in that glorious state in the kingdom. But keep reading. Done. And it says, before the law, uh, it says, uh, read from the top again. Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comes, whence comes thou? Whence comes thou, you demon, man? Where did you come from? Read on. And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth. We're doing what I always do, causing trouble in the earth. Basically, that's what he's saying. Going in and out of the earth, causing trouble, causing conflict, causing affliction, causing pain and suffering, causing evil. Read on. And from walking up and down it. 
And the Lord said unto Satan, Has oh, But I thought for you for retards out there, God and Satan got to a fight. <laughs> then God got Satan in the headlock and threw him down to the earth in a bottomless pit. Y'all stupid you people are, man. It's the most signed Satan talking normally. So Satan has access in the earth and he go back to the heavens. But on the left hand side. Read on. Has thou considered my servant Job? So the most size accident did you get to Job? While you were down there, did you get doing your expedition? Doing your daily routine? Did you get to Job? Read on. That there is none like him in the earth. A perfect and upright man, one that feared the most high, and is true as evil. So that's what the most high wants at the end of the day, your fear. But you Christians talking about you love God. But you ain't keeping out one commandment, man. Hit a Passover. Cain, some brother celebrate a little later. How much y'all keep it at Passover? But they gonna keep some retarded Easter next week with bunny rabbits laying eggs, which got nothing to do with the Bible, man. Oh, Lent Sunday, whatever nonsense. Where is that in the scriptures, man? That's what the scripture talks about. In vain do they worship me, following the precepts of men. We never kept no Easter. That's a mistranslation. The word is Pasako Passover. Oh, and the, the rest of the days is known as the Feast of Unleavened Bread. But you don't have nothing with yeast or leaven in it. Or wheat or oat or barley or things of that nature. And anything that's in your house that's made out of those ingredients, you have to take it out. You have to extract it. All right? And the first and seventh days of Sabbath. You have to have the lamb, the bitter herbs, the wine, and the unleavened bread, man. Okay? Our people ain't keeping them tradition. You still keeping some retarded Easter, man. And some stupid Christmas. And Lent Sunday. You got nothing to do with the Bible whatsoever. That ain't nowhere in the Bible, man. But like we were saying before, the angels, Satan's job, and you read further on in the story, you can read it, that whole book of Job. Satan got on Job, man. Took everything away from him, except for his life. Because the most I said not to. But at the end of the at the end of the day, when he endured all that, guess what? He got blessed, man. So the, the whole key is what? Endurance. And as long as you stay in the truth, the Lord will have your back. Give me uh please ask this. Chapter 4, verse 27. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4, verse 27. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither set the person of the mighty. Strife. Yeah, yeah, you can't be a, a, a accept of persons. Now don't make, don't be a, a fool. Don't be a, a, make yourself an underling to a fool, man. The scripture said, if a king is wicked, then all his servants is wicked. So you got to know who you following to, who teaching you, man. Okay? Unless so we gave you our example of if a man is going off, you can't be no man pleaser, man. This is not about man pleasing, man. You got to seek your own salvation. Because if the most I bring the shaft against that dude, you're going you gonna to go down with him. Then the scriptures have to blind lead the blind. They both going to fall in the ditch. Like these people out here following the Pope. Some pedophile Pope following Creflo Dollar. The most I going to move on all of them real soon. And guess what? They all their congregation will go down with it as well. But keep reading. There's a point of coming up. Verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. That's the point I want to bring out. The Bible says strive for the truth until death. Stay in the knowledge until death. Man. Don't take your hand off the plow. For you slothful niggas out there, man. Who making a tons of excuses. Oh, because I seen the elder do something. I'm out of this truth. Nah, it can't, this can't be the truth, man. Or because you see our brother fall off, that give you an excuse to fall off. You a clown, man. You are a clown, man. You a bitch made nigga, man. And I hate dudes like that, man. And we pray, yeah, how about Shemiel Shah that we don't end up like that, ever. That we retain our integrity until the latter end. And you dudes that do fall out, that the elder gave an example, and his prior examples, and his many examples, of men that fell out and 
most high objective of hope. He may not get you, he may get your children if you have. He may get your loved one, he may get that woman that you were holding up on a high level. He may cause you to come home and see her getting boned by an Edomite. That's your trope. That's your old oh, polite. That's your God, the black woman, man. You keep putting your trust in that damn woman. Okay? She's going to take your heart and soul in a minute, man. Okay? But, um, I'm going to read a scripture. Keep reading that again. Read that again. It says, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. The Lord will fight for you. All right? As long as you maintain your integrity, the Most High and the Son, they're going to fight for you. Give me uh, First Maccabees. Chapter 3. Verse 1, or you want to start from, um, uh, hold on one second. I gotta find the scripture. I read the scripture for a long time. I think it's, uh, Twenty. Now, but he gives different examples. It might be two. Check the first match of these two. Let me finish this with thing on it. Eleven. Going on twelve. This is the uh, first match of these chapter two. This one, uh, the, uh, uh Mattathias and his sons and them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our three first Maccabees chapter two. Verse forty nine. Let me hear. The book of First Maccabees, the Apocrypha, chapter two, verse forty nine. Now, when the time drew near that Mattathias should die, he said unto his sons, Now have pride and rebuke God in strength. And the time of destruction and wrath of indignation. Read to 61. Now before my sons, be ye zealous for the law. And give oh, oh, they didn't ever love that scripture. Be zealous for the law, because that's showing love to the most high. Well, let me, let me read it how they like to read it. Now therefore, my sons, be zealous for the law. Okay, you got to be zealous for the law. but Which we are zealous for the law. But we understand that we're not going to be saved just based on the law gonna be saved through your faith okay because he's gonna read an example keep reading and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers oh read that again what do you do is that fell out and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers so when you fall out how did you give your life i mean you do something you guys that don't want to go out because it's a winter time right it's a winter time it's cold how are you giving your life to the lord man the scripture says to make your body a living sacrifice you give your life to the white man, huh? You dumbass niggas go fight his wars. Or you sell your soul so you can get millions of dollars. Right? You give up all your morals and your values to make it big in this kingdom. And dudes that's in the truth because it get a little cold. Because it get 30 degrees. Right? Or because it's snowing or raining. You make an excuse not to do your house shots work. But it, in times of trouble, you're going to want him to save you. You a clown, you a demon, and the Lord gonna destroy you. We're definitely working to call for your master Esau though. Yeah, you'll stand out there hours to get that overtime. But to do the will of the most high, you won't do it. Keep reading. Good. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, so shall ye receive great honor and everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in the temptation? And it was imputed unto him for righteousness? What did Abraham do? He, he almost sacrificed his son. Because the Lord told him to. He didn't make excuse. He did it. Was he sad and bite? Of course he is. But he had to do it. Read. Joseph in time of his distress kept the commandment. Joseph didn't commit adultery. Yes. Right? And he got thrown in prison. He didn't forsake the most high. <coughs> for two years he was in prison, man. For something that he did not do. But he maintained his integrity and he maintained his faith. Read. And was made Lord of Egypt. The Most High blessed him. And it was through him becoming Lord of Egypt 
he was able to go in Egypt and become a great nation. He read on. Phineas, our father, being zealous. But he, he was a Levite. Read on. And one of the um, sons or grandsons of Aaron. Read on. And fervent obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Because he saw uh, uh, that they was doing some wickedness on the altar. He put their ass to death, man. You read on. Jesus fulfilling the word with oh, Who is that talking about? Is that talking about uh, Yahweh Shai in the New Testament? That's talking about Joshua. They have the same name. Okay, ready to read on. Jesus fulfilling the word was made a judge in Israel. Uh huh. Caleb. He allowed us to go in the land of Canaan. All right. Take down them Amites. Verse 55, uh, verse 56. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. Right, he was one of the two that, from that old generation that made it into the land of Canaan. All right, Caleb and Joshua. Read on. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Right, which the Most High was dealing with David, man. Okay, because of his faith, and never, even though he committed adultery and went off, he maintained his integrity. And even though he caught hell, he always maintained his integrity, man. And he established his throne forever. And that's the house that we're building right now, the house of David. Which the head of the house of David is Yahweh Shad. We're building up the house of David as the days of old. The 144,000 is a part of the house of David. A lot of you guys that's not in the truth when you fell out, you're part of the house of Saul. But you were in it on fire for just a minute. Now you back out in the world. The most high spit you out. Alright, read on. Elias, Elisha, for being zealous and fervent for the Lord, was taken up into heaven. That's Elijah. Alright? That's Elijah in Greek. He got taken up into heaven, man. The baddest prophet. So that's one of the baddest prophets right there. Read the story of Elijah. Had fire come down from heaven. All right, on the captain of 50, man. Killed the prophets of all, all 400 and something of them, man. And he came back as John the Baptist. But anyway, read on. And I, um, Ananias, Azarias, and Masal, by believing, was saved out of the flame. Right, if you read the story of Daniel, they were also with Daniel as well. They got thrown into the, uh, the pit of fire. Okay, but not follow the ways of the Babylonians. And the Most High delivered them. The angels protected them. The guy said, I see somebody else in there with them. Those were angels, man. That's another example of the angels saving the men of the Lord. Oh, there's another example. We're going to bring it out after this. Keep reading. Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. Daniel also got falsely accused and the Most High delivered him. Keep reading. Verse 61. Stop. And thus considered he throughout all ages. So he gave them a rundown. He said, just throughout all ages, read. That none that put their trust in him shall. None that put their trust in the Most High, man. And his son, Yahweh Shai. Read. Shall be overcome. Shall be overcome. Now you dudes that fell out, guess what? You gonna be overcome, man, in wickedness, man. You gonna be made a statistic. You gonna be a part of the two thirds. 